All right, got a little something to show. He's going down today. Just got back from Home Depot. Always drive with stuff secured in your car, all right, people? I don't know if you can tell what that is, but that's one, two, three, four. So I got four. So I have one sheet of three quarter inch MDF and I had them quarter it. So, you know, 24 by 48 pieces. And then I got two sheets of half inch MDF, two sheets of half inch MDF quartered out as well. So the plan is for this, you know, next variant of the enclosure I built, because I built so many, uh, is I'm going to do a 38 wide by, see if I do 24, then add an inch and a quarter, because the three quarter inch plus the half inch. So that would be a two and a half, so 26 and a half inch high. So I'll have 26 and a half inch high, which is a half an inch underneath my 13, you know, if anybody competes in DB drag, you know, you can only be 13 inches uh, from the headrest, the highest point that's most advantageous to the competitor. So the way I do mine is just a straight all the way across anyway, so I don't do any angle variants. But uh, yeah, 26 and a half high, 38 wide, and the hardest one that I have to freaking deal with all the time is uh technically I can get away with 18 inches deep uh before you know I get problems with the uh a B, with my C pillar because everything has to be behind the C pillar uh that's the hardest one to deal with because of adding all my uh, batteries and amplifiers all that has to be behind it so I always end up having to go with 17 inch deep because if I go 18, I could fit my batteries, you know, within that spot that's in between the box and then the seats on the ground. But if I go, I mean, if, if I go 17, I can fit it there. But if I go 18, I don't have enough room for my batteries. But uh, just chatting with the homie Big Vel over at Big Vel Lithium. <laughs> looks like I'll have room in there now because of the depth difference of uh, running AGMs versus running the lithium so I'll be able to get away with that 18 inches deep which doesn't sound like a lot to a lot of people you know one inch over the rest of all that but when you're talking getting away with a you know like a 5.7 cubic foot box compared to like a 4.9 for 215s makes a lot of difference so uh this next box is just going to be a straight up, I'm going to say it, it's going to be a burp box. Sounds huge for a burp box, but it's, it's what works for my cabin. So it's going to be a port up, sub up. I think final tunings for the tuning of the box, I think it's like 37. Uh, and that's just going with a center firing port up. Uh, just a shy, like an inch short of the port thickness from the back from the bottom of the port thickness of uh where it touches the bottom so instead of it acting like two separate uh two separate ports that are going to be like an l the way that if you went all the way if you space the difference of the of the port at the you know wide the same at the bottom then in reality you're you're actually having two little small ports that are that are funneling like that but if you raise it up just a little bit above that a little tuning technique for some people that are going for loud uh just do it a little bit above that you know and you got to kind of uh nobody talks about it but when you build a ported box 
your port actually is a little bit longer depending on what walls are around it. It actually lengthens your port a little bit. So after a lot of testing, you can figure out how short you need to go to where every time you add an inch or add an inch, you know, in reality, by adding one inch, I actually add five inches. But, uh, you know, I've, I've found out that sweet spot. I think it'll end up being like 5.83 cubes and 37, which puts my efficiency where I burp at in the 45 to 50 ish range, depending on, you know, all the other variables, cold, humidity, density of air, all that stuff. But, um, let's see. So that'll be 18 inches deep and that's, uh, an inch and a quarter inch and a quarter. So that's two and a half. So it'll be 15 and a half. Is that right? Yeah. 15 and a half tall. And on the sides, I'm actually going to do, instead of doing three quarter with a, uh, a half inch to make it an inch and a quarter, I'm going to do two pieces of half inch to make it only one inch on the sides. And, uh, the front back and the top and bottom will be inch and a quarter. So with that one inch on each side, that would be, uh, that would leave me 36 available on the inside. Uh, dimensions and then by hanging you know the sub all the way over to one side and all the way to the other side I can take off uh, three quarters of an inch for each side of that because that's how big the lip is on the on the the high q15s shout out my boy Andrew I just found out he's gonna be running some high q15s yeah so um so yeah so you could get get away with adding an extra so from that one inch on each side getting taken away two inches total It'll only take away an inch and a half. So that'll leave me 36 and a half of a uh, width to play with. And then the high cues are like 15.675 wide. Uh, so I think it comes out to like 5.15 inches wide of, of a port. So 5.15 by 15.5 uh what is that like 77 and a bit you know shy, a shy under where optimal use for those subs i think they want 40 each square inches of port for a 3.5 cubic foot box so i'll be running a like 5.83 so on the smaller side and uh running a tad bit under on the uh the port area so like I said, it's a burp box and I know with, uh, you know, where my peak is at, I should be underneath that threshold where I like to stay under, uh, according to WinISD, ISD about 24, uh, meters per second. I'm sorry, 24 feet per second. Or is it meters per second? Hold on. I like to stay under, is it 33 feet per second? as the wind velocity i think that's that's where you start to notice a lot of compression uh you, you lose a lot of your power output a lot of your your port chokes off your ability to get louder because of the turbulence because of the choking in the port you don't have enough airflow the vent mock is is at that point is like 3b 3db down in my testings but uh that's okay you know at the in a lot of the bandwidth even if your port compression you know is bad but when you get to where you peak at depending on how your it reacts with your cabin um that should be good just from a lot of testing but we'll see but uh today is uh is build day for me i'm just gonna kind of it's a burp box so it's not gonna look pretty i'm gonna build it and i hope let's see what's today sunday i hope to have numbers up by monday night and uh that's cutting it close as far as letting glue dry and all that but you know me it's, it's not only going to be glued with brad nails i don't do that i pre drill all my holes put in the proper wood screws um we're gonna see what it could do so i'm excited uh you know savard's on the come up we got some great team members out there even though we don't officially have like a savard team that you see people put on a uh, term pro as their name, but, uh, I think I might change my name this year and, uh, 
it'll be uh, Team Eddie Savard or Team Savard Eddie. I can't remember how they, they allow you to do it on there. It's got to have your name in there if you have a team name in front of it. So, but I'm repping Savard this year for sure. Uh, Going to upset some people with some numbers because I know people have been on the back burner thinking that their numbers are good, but mm, 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 not this year. I'm coming for you. So, shout out Savard, shout out Will, shout out Lucas. Man, they got great customer service, man. The products are phenomenal. Uh, I show love where, where love shows me, where people show me love, you know what I mean? Um, with that being said, check out your boy, thirdera.com. Officially got my website up and running. Uh, it's it's a store that, that nobody's ever done before. You see a lot of these, I'm not, and there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not putting anybody down. But a lot of uh, places only offer the option of their own merchandise. Like, like for instance, a shirt that says the third era or, you know, whatever I want it to say. But this store is 100% custom where it doesn't even have to be car audio related. It could be whatever you want. And, you know, I take in to consideration whatever design you want, either printed or vinyl or steam or whatever. However, the design you want it on a shirt, on decals, the, the you know, your imagination is your limit. And uh, and I do everything in-house. I'm not drop shipping nothing. I have specific clothes or clothings that that I like to deal with that I feel are the best for that kind of stuff, for printing on and, uh, you know, for designs when you want something on a sleeve and you don't want a seam there. Like, I have specific shirts that are ring-spun cotton super soft um my mouth is getting dry uh that, that are comfortable shirts and you know i have a bunch of stock of that i think i've got i got plenty and uh you know throwing out the decals already my boy father's base uh i got, got his order pretty much done i think i have like 10 more to do of his uh the homie dark side audio i know he's been inquiring about doing some decals i think he wanted like 100 um but yeah, everything's custom. I mean, and you have uh, thresholds of where you order so many, you get a bigger discount. But the goal was giving you guys the best deal possible than anywhere on the internet of custom whatever you wanted. I don't care if you wanted one. I don't care if you wanted 100 or 200. I'll do it for you by my hands. Shipping is included in the cost. So you're not having to think about, okay, it's this heavy and blah, blah, blah. It's no, whatever shows on there that's what your price is um i'll worry about the shipping that's on me i'll take that hit for my first year of, of being in business and it's not really even to make money man i just want to share the share the love of everybody wanting to rep whatever they want to rep you know sport your own gear uh buy your kids shirts with you know father's day gifts i love you daddy whatever whatever you want on it man i'll do it for you um so take advantage i just dropped the website um and coupon code sound man it's not gum job but uh <laughs> uh coupon code slap of the base you know you've been seeing me wear the shirt slap of the base uh capital s capital d and a capital b and slap of the base and it's all one word no spaces uh save an extra 15 percent, which is pretty much what i would make extra on it because i'm being honest with how much i mark up my stuff from what it i cost what it cost me it's only 15 percent. so when you take into account shipping and tax that stuff I'm paying on, I think I'm making like 1%, you know, to where, like I said, I'm not trying to make money with this right now. It's just, I just want to give back, um, you know, got to start somewhere. So said a lot in this video, I ramble on a lot, but I'm excited, passionate about our, our industry, passionate about car audio, passionate about just having fun, man. You know, this is like an experience, like a roller coaster when you get into a car audio car, gives you a feeling and until you've been in one where you get that feeling, you're missing out. So, anyways, The Third Era. Appreciate you guys watching. Go check out my store, thethirdera.com. Slap it at base. <laughs>